The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 6th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead. Send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Please send it early. And, uh, and of course, if you're in the and if you if you do send it, please put a radio show question in that subject area. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. and C's trading to the south. You got the Dow off 329. That's about 1%. The S&P 37, that's less than 1%. The NDX 100, about six tenths of a percent or 86 bucks. The Russell's off 1.5%, 34 points. Semi's down 27. Trailies are off 82. You've got the Spot Follow Tunix up two bucks. She traded at 23.38. That's up nearly plus 10%. You want to watch that come the end of the day. You've got gold up three bucks. Silver's off eight pennies. Lights we crude back a buck 67. She traded at 77.26. Lead the charge dollar. Otherwise, to the upside, you've got Acuity Brands. It's up 19.50. That's 11%. Shopify, 17 or 1 to 3 tenths percent. Affirm Holdings, 15%, 17 bucks. HubSpot, 14, 15 bucks. That's up 2 and 3 tenths percent. To the downside is Mercado Libre. That's off by 42 bucks, nearly 2 and 7 tenths percent. Moderna, off 17 bucks or 5 bucks. 5%, 5 I should say. Booking Holdings down 18, about 3 quarters of a percent. So, Let's begin. What do you want to begin? Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, I'm just looking around here. Let's go short term. Let's take care of the short term charts first. So we're going to change over and take a look at the four equity future contracts. In the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see a 30-minute ES mini. And that ES mini completed an A to B equals CD to the downside. Did that earlier this morning, and that led to a TD nine count top. It was bar number eight that identified that top out here. You can see that price is now pulling back and testing that oscillator and change line. If that level gives, then we should see price make its way all the way back. I'd say more likely than not to the 42.7950 area. 42.7950 is the breakout point. That breakout point is part of the TD nine count pattern out there. If price were to close below 42.7950, that probably spells trouble for the ES mini for the rest of the day. If we take a look at the NQ, it was just getting its cues, so to speak, from the ES mini, and uh, it went ahead and made a TD nine count as well. Now, in the case of the cues, it got all the way up to its breakdown level, and that breakdown level is 14,674. That's a number you're going to want to watch. In fact, uh, because if price closes above that, and I'm not saying it is, but if price does close above that, that would suggest a further rally. Now, the TD9 count pattern, when you get that, the very first move is typically to that oscillator and change line. And that's what it's testing right now. I'm going to expand this chart out because this is really important here, or really important to help assist us with the short-term signals. What I want you to see is that oscillator and change line. You know how we talk about when that changes colors? When it changes colors, that tells us that the price oscillator is uh, going either above zero or below zero. When it turns green, it's above zero, which can be a bullish uh, message. The real bullish message is when price gets back, 
test that oscillator and change line, test and reject it, get us a 30 minute chart. We won't have confirmation of that until about uh, one, one, until 130 exactly. But if price does test and reject that level, we should see price make another run for that 14,674 level. What happens if price closes below that? Great question. If price closes below that because it's green, it just tells us about a further retracement. Now, that further retracement would take us to either 14,445 or 14,479. So it's really an important test right now that's going on inside of the NQ. I don't believe we have that on the uh, other uh, equity future contracts out here, but let's go take a look at them. We've got the Dow equity future contract down on the uh, bottom left out here uh, this has just been consolidating with inside its profile so its level to be watching to the downside is going to be 33,811, and to the upside 33,979. two consecutive closes above or below those levels out there will suggest or identify where price is likely headed to now if it's to the upside price is likely headed to 34,242, and to the downside you'd have to say 33,487 would be in the cards. The Russell 2000, she's the weakest of the four right now. The equity future contract off about one and six tenths percent as we speak. You can see uh, this generated a Rhodesman to indicator bottom. It is inside right now trading inside a bullish structured profile. The key level of resistance for it would be two consecutive closes above 2202. The support level is going to be that bullish engulfing candle, bull sash candle that formed here. At, the low is 2199.50, and that formed at 12 noon. A close below that suggests lower price. So the short-term time frame charts right now are providing us with the best in, the best signals as to what to anticipate. So what is it we're anticipating right now? We're really going to because the end. I, I realize the the Russell is the weak link out here. It's got a valid bottoming signal. So until that gets taken out, let's take a look at watch the NQ because a test and rejection at this 14,571 level would suggest a move up to 14,688. But let's just wait. We got to wait for the bar to close. It's only 113. You know, I'm not saying last call, you know, bar to close, but I am saying we have to wait for this candle bar to close out there. Now, we can shift from the intraday charts, which we will. Let's go take a look at the daily time frame charts. Again, same for equity future contract. In the upper left, you've got the ES Mini. You'll see Stevie's got a blue line at 42.9375. That is the support level from its Three River Morning Star, its Gartley buy pattern. So if price does close below that, that tells us that we should anticipate price would make its way to 41.9650. That would be its next breakout level. If we take a look at the NQ, no bottoming pattern in sight here, at least not just yet. You could get a uh, a hammer candle today you absolutely could uh, not saying that it will but if you do get a bullish reversal candle today then it will join the ES the Dow and the Russell 2000 with regard to Gertley buy patterns and kind of interesting to do that as we are entering or have entered the favorable seasonal cycle short of generating a bullish reversal candle the NQ should target 1394575. That is its next TD9 count breakout level. The Dow Equity Future contract also forming a Gartley buy pattern, doing it with that Three River Morning Star, making the key level of support 33478. But if I were to ask you where's the key level of resistance, you would say, Stevo, pretty simple. The oscillator and change line, that's at 34145. The Russell 2000, also with a Gartley buy pattern, its key level of support is 214690. The Dow down 271. S&P off 31. Would love to hear from you folks. 877-927-6648. We'll be back in about three minutes. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Hey, I realized that I didn't uh, change my screen. So now you've got the uh, daily charts up there in case you want to take a quick peek at it. Nothing has changed. The numbers that I've given you, those are the numbers you want to put on the uh, on your pad of paper out there to watch. Again, that's 423375, 33478 uh, in the uh, Dow, and 204690 in the uh, Russell 2000. Let's go our first question. Our first question coming in from Rachel in uh, North Carolina. Rachel, thanks for sending in this uh, request. Let's take a look at it. She wants to look at uh, Chewy. So let's get the uh, chart up on the screen. Then we'll go ahead and read her question. C H. W-Y, is that a C-H-S? Yeah, C-H-W-Y. So we'll get that, that data up on our chart. And the question is, Steve, looking to accumulate Chewy. I've owned it in the past and looking for a trend reversal and how far down this could uh, go before that reversal, Rachel in North Carolina. So as we take a look at Chewy, Rachel, the only time frames that we've got for our task market profiles, uh, not intraday I'm speaking about, are daily and weekly. The price is below. Oh, they're not showing. Sorry about that. Man, oh, man. To talk about the inability to multitask, uh, stepping right up for that one. Okay, so now you've got your black background chain, uh, uh, charts out here. And what we can see here, Rachel, is that price is below both its daily and now potentially its weekly profile. Now, price is testing a swing point on a weekly basis for May 10th. That had volume of about 19 million shares. You're at about 8 million so far. We're about halfway through. So you've got a similar type volume out there. I was hoping that what we would see on a weekly chart is clearly light volume. That level is being tested. That level, again, is um, 64.08. Uh, you've gotten down this week to a low of 63.42. And you're above that right now. But if you move into that swing point with volume, what it suggests is that that level is likely to be tested again. Let's go look at the daily, the white background charts to see if we can find any kind of signal. Now, there's clearly an A to B equals CD pattern out here. I, I'll, let me draw that in before we get there. 
So let's take a look at the A to B equals C D pattern out here. The one that Stevie would draw looks like this. The A point, that's easy for everybody to pick out. Now the question becomes, where's the B point out here? You know, is it all the way here? That's one of them. And you could draw several A to B equals CDs. But I'm just going to go ahead and come all the way down here to the trading day of September 15th. It's really my other charts that will help me out because I look for on that B point. If it's not as clear, I look for some type of, in fact, let me just pull over the white time frame charts out here. It was that A to B equals CD gets you down to about 50.44. Not saying that's where price goes just yet. But let's go take a look at the daily time frame out here. So let's populate this chart and see where we're at. So. You've got a TD nine count bottom. Okay, interesting. And you also have wave number seven. So you've got two on a daily basis that we're looking at. You've got two potential signals out here. Now, in order for this TD nine count pattern to hold, you need to see price continue to close above 64.23. So you've got a bottoming signal out here, Rachel. And I don't know whether you're an aggressive trader, uh, more of a conservative, uh, middle of the road trader out here. But one thing that we do know, we can see that each time that price has tried to make a rally, it's been deflected by that oscillator and change line. So I would say even though you've got a TD nine count bottom and price is trading at 6470, I'd rather buy this at 6640 or 450, something like that, once price closes above that oscillator and change line. So that's the first element. Uh, we're going to go take a look at some short-term charts as well. In the weekly time frame chart, we know that price is uh, testing. Okay, so it's, it's bar number six on a weekly basis. If uh, if this TD9 count doesn't hold, you don't have that much further for price to find support. That's at 61 bucks. Of course, if price closes below $61, that's the weekly TD9 count breakout level. That, uh, that spells trouble. In fact, that would then say that larger A to B equals CD. Uh, pattern would be in play. That was in the $50 type area. Now let's look at a short term time frame chart. Let's look at the 30 minute chart. So I don't have anything here. You know, we've seen a little bit of a bounce today. I don't have anything here to suggest that any kind of uh, resistance or significant resistance level has uh, failed. Not on the 30 minute chart. Let's look at a 65 minute chart out here. Again, we're just looking for bottoming signals. You do have that on the 65 minute chart, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The 130, the same. The 195, the same, although that pattern has not been completed, confirmed, I should say, on the 195 minutes. So this is definitely trying to form a bottom out here. But I think it's uh, based upon the way we've seen price action and that oscillator and change line, uh, I'd be careful. And the reason I'd be careful is, look, there was a TD9 count pattern that confirmed that confirmed on September the 8th. It actually I mean, it didn't confirm until September 9th, but it was September 8th slow out there. And that didn't hold. So, you know, I always like to go back and see how well in the specific chart that we're looking at, does the TD9 count pattern work? And the, the, the prior two work just fine. Now, when I say just fine, remember, when you get a TD9 count pattern out here, the very first level where price is going to head to is going to be that oscillator and change line. And that's what it did. It was green. It tested and rejected that level. When this formed a bottom back in May of 2021, May 13th, that was a TD9 count. That was a bar following bar number nine. So it works, but uh, I would be, I would caution caution you at this stage to take the long position inside of Chewy. So hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks so much for writing in. Again, that was Rachel in North Carolina. Next question coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wants to take a look at Microsoft. So let me get the chart up on our screen out here. MSFT. Happy Wipeout Wednesday. Microsoft is following a uh, A, B equals C, D to the downside. Uh, so you've chosen for your 8.305. So on the uh, daily time frame, what were you choosing? You're choosing the A point is from August the 20th. Okay, I'm on board with that. So let's go, let's actually draw in Stevie's A to B equals C, D pattern. That would be the A point. The B point is going to be the low from 920. And the C point is going to be the retracement into 923. So uh, you use, and use the exact same ones. Okay. So excellent. So the question is, so if so, the 1.618 1 area of 274, yeah, I've got that, may be the buy, the D point, if the cavalry shows up. Well, um, so that's an interesting uh, point that you're trying to make. Now, you can see that this has already made the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD, and then it made its way down to the 1 to 1.272. And so, Hector, this already has a confirmed buy, the D point. 
And that was generated with the bull sash candle on October the 1st out there. Now, what price has not done is not broken through a key level of resistance. And right now, that's going to be the top of that daily profile, 291.10. So it hasn't really proven itself to you. But if you do see Microsoft close above 291.10, I say we have to uh, say, hey, getting down into the, uh, you use the 1.618 level of 274, that would be premature to call that. The other thing, and why this might be a very valid bottom, or might not, but one reason why it might be a valid bottom is price on the weekly basis got back and tested its level of support, the bottom of its profile, the 280.73. Now, this is a bearish structured profile that price is trading in. So on a counter trend move to the upside, you would expect price to find resistance at the center of that level. That's at 290.14. The high this week is 290.88. But if price closes above that, 293.28 is on uh, pace for us. So it's really going to be a close above 293.28, not 291.10. That would give you the all clear to the upside signal out there. So uh, let's pull over our other charts. I, I think I've got the daily and weekly and then the 30-minute chart out here for Microsoft. So here you can see that bull sash candle. You can also see the oscillator and change line. So now we know we have a valid bottom. Price typically will go up and seek out that oscillator and change line. It'll especially do it if it's changing color. And so that level is 291.60. 291.69. And so if price closes above that, that becomes a bullish message there. On a weekly chart for Microsoft, again, you know, just a hammer candle as we speak right now, holding the bottom of that profile. And on a 30-minute basis, it formed a TD nine count pattern. And if price closes above the high of the day, and that's at 290.88, that says price wants to run higher. Steve Rhodes with TF and Ed. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, yeah, I mentioned I went and saw Spyro Gyra uh, last week. Uh, I think it was on Tuesday a night. And I uh, put on a great show. I was up in Orlando. And on my way back on Sunday, I had just kind of timed it uh, perfectly so that I could stop and uh, stop and see them in uh, Stewart, Florida at the Lyric Theater. Now, in, in, there was an accident on the uh, turnpike. So I was lucky enough to actually get there pretty much just on time. And another great show. Actually, it was a better show. So the show that I saw was, I believe, the opening of their tour. And the sound was a little off and everything. But this theater, if you're ever in Stewart, uh, Florida, I mean, this was this was like, you know, we, if you're my age, I grew up out there. We all grew up in cities. So we had theaters in our city, maybe the one next door, next door to that. So I looked it up when I got back. Uh, and it was built in 1927. I knew as soon as I got there. And you can tell just from the sound and the beauty. I mean, a true icon. And it was really like going, it just felt so good to kind of go back a little bit in time out there. Uh, so, uh, again, I recommend you go see that show uh, if they are in your area. Just really, uh, uh, it was nice to see it uh, this year. John in the Tiger's Den asked a very specific question. It's about the GDX. That's why uh, we're going to go ahead and get those uh, charts on our screen here now. Let's uh, get the – whoops. Hold on. Let's get to the right button. I didn't want to chat. I wanted to share my screen. And uh, John's specific question is, as you see it, if the GDX rallies over what level – does a GDX confirm a new rally phase? So there's really going to be two levels, John, that we're going to take a look at. First, although this chart doesn't show it, and you'll see that momentarily, we have both a TD9 count and a Rose Mintum indicator bottom that formed out here. And we got the bullish reversal candle, so we have everything that we need. Now what price is doing, John, the very first thing is price is trading with inside its profile. So we know where buyers, we know where sellers are located, and the sellers are located at $30.28. If price can overtake them, then it's going to be, you know, first down, 10 to go to the upside and that would be the first indication of a new rally phase or a change in trend that would be the first level to get to the second level i've got to pull over we got to find it i've got to pull over my other charts my white background charts and here we can see that that next level would be 3156 3156 is the td9 count breakdown level so if price gets above 3028 odds favor a move to 3156 and if price closes above 3156 that would be then the uh confirmed change in trend signal so really as we take a look at anything that tops or bottoms with the tools that i'm using out here we look for those valid patterns we got that valid pattern then we take a look at where are the profile levels those profile levels will be can become support and resistance so now we've got support at 2907 resistance at 3028 and then for the uh, PS de resistance is where does price head to next if it's over that level and that's 3156 and if price can close above that john then you've got your absolute confirmed move. But if you're asking, is there a bottom pattern inside the GDX for the daily time frame? The answer is yes. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, what is the answer? The answer is, uh, well, maybe, but maybe not. Um, you know, there's an A to B equals CD that certainly is not completed here that would take us to much lower price. You do have wave number seven. That occurred last week, so that's a potential bottom. On a monthly chart out here, as we take a look at the GDX, let's populate this. What do we have? Not much. 
So nothing to assist us here, nothing to indicate a bottom. But the daily right now is the one that's in control. If the daily patterns fail, then we know the weekly and the monthly, uh, which uh, suggests much lower price, even like 22.10 on the monthly chart would be what it has confirmed. Now, quick peek at the 30-minute time frame chart. As uh, price was bottoming on the uh, daily time frame, uh, can I say it? what? Yeah, I can say that too. It was also bottoming on that 30 minute time frame. Let's repopulate this. Where's it? so it's key level, John? So it's a beauty. Uh, 29.90. Now, I don't, the green line's not going all the way across, but we can see here if I just put my uh, crosshair that that in essence is where price has found some resistance. So, another ideal area on a short-term basis to suggest that price is going to continue to move higher as a close, two, two consecutive closes above 29.90. So thanks for writing in. I hope that that helps you out with regard to the GDX. A uh, quick peek, just see if we've got any other questions. Of course, folks, I would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 or steve at tfnn.com. We've got uh, Rick from Oregon. And Rick, uh, do you see any entry point to take a position in CLF? I believe that is Cliff's Natural Resources. So let's go fire that up on our black background charts and take a look at its market profiles. Brand new profile formed yesterday. Now that profile was above the prior profile. So that is a indication of a trend uh, change out here. Support being 1958 and resistance being 2136. I don't see anything else. Let's pull over Cliffs Natural Resources or Cleveland Cliffs. I get oh, Cleveland Cliffs. So did it change or maybe Cliffs Natural Resources is a different symbol out there. Doesn't matter. Let's go back to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we did get a uh, Rose Mintum Indicator bottom signal. Um, you know, uh, and uh, we have a TD9 count bottom. So Cliffs, your question was, do I see an entry point? So based upon the daily time frame, yeah, you can enter now. Uh, price this morning got down towards the bottom of that profile, 1958. Uh, so any now, the, the slight danger here for you, uh, it, Rick, is that price is below this red oscillator and change line. Yesterday was day one above it. You know, we like to have two consecutive closes. So let's just say as long as price is below that, I would try 1952, 1958, Somewhere right in that vicinity. But if you're asking me, do we have valid bottom signals? We do. Resistance, as long as price get back above that oscillator and change line, is going to be 2136. And then if price can do that, you're looking at 2424. That's the message of the daily time frame chart. The weekly chart out here shows us what? It shows a road momentum indicator top, which has taken price back into the support area of its slightly bullish structured profile. That says that support would be between 18 and a quarter and 2042. On a 30-minute time frame chart, what do we have out here for CLF? Not really much. Um, nothing, nothing of significance. So no, no reason to to spend time there. So I believe, uh, Rick, we have uh, we've got your answer for you with regard to Cliff CLF on the uh, daily time frame. And uh, thanks so much for writing in, listening to the show, and I hope that that helps you out. I don't believe we have any other questions. Uh, do we have anything inside the Tiger's Den? Anything that you folks want me to take a look at out here? Well, one thing that we can certainly take a look at is we go take a look at lights we crude and natural gas. Since those two things have been on fire, but it looks like the fire is about to be put out. And for what period of time are we going to go be able to uh, help you with that as well? So let's change screens out here while I'm thinking about it. Let's get over to our eight panel uh, lights we crude chart. So you can see a nice TD9 count top. You'll see wave number seven, another potential top. And the A to B equals CD pattern. You've got a key reversal bar right now. So price is going to target what? That's right, the oscillator and change line, the top of that daily profile in the 75.94 level. And if price gets below 75.94, you're looking at a potential move back to 71.61. And that would be the buy point. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're back to looking at light sweet crude November contract out here. We see a couple different topping patterns: a sell the D point, a TD nine count pattern, wave number seven. All those should lead to price moving back to that oscillator and change line, which is really in line with the top of its daily profile. Price closed below that, then we'd be looking at a move to 7376, 7303, and even 7161. And there'd still be nothing wrong with light sweet crude. It would just be pulling back to its uh, breakout level out there. On the short term, we can see a bunch of topping patterns that are out here. I don't see any significant significant bottoming pattern. I see levels of support that are holding like on the 60 minute time frame chart. It's a 7757 level out there. Let's switch over and take a look at natural gas and see what it's doing. Similar set of uh, patterns out. Oh, shoot, I've got to populate the chart. So let's see how long with everything I've got going here. It takes to populate this. So it looks like it's not too bad right now. So we've got our eight panel natural gas chart in the upper left hand corner. When it does populate, you'll see that price has made its way back, I believe, to the 2014 swing point. That's at the six dollars. Dollar forty nine cent area, so it hit it. Uh, it's a logical place for price to uh, find resistance and pull back. That's what we actually see on the daily time frame. I'll expand the daily chart out here, and on the daily time frame, you now have a confirmed road momentum indicator top, and with price below that oscillator and change line, remember that would be the first target when you get a top. Well, in this case here, you're getting the first target hit along with the topping signal. So where's the next move? Next move would be to five dollars and thirty eight cents below that between 492 and 506 and below that the breakout level of four dollars and sixty cents again nothing would be wrong it'd be a big pullback 640 down to 460 but that is its breakout level uh, but first things first price closes below 585 you got to anticipate 538 is next up on the uh, charts we take a look at its intraday time frames each of them have uh, topping patterns and signals and now if we look for anything that's identifying a potential level of support, it's back to the 60-minute chart. Let's expand the 60-minute chart out here. It's in bar number eight of a TD9 count. It's the low of the pattern. So we know that a TD9 count on a 60-minute chart on any time frame can occur in bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So you've got a potential valid bottoming signal here suggesting some type of 
bounce. Bounce to where as you look at the 60-minute chart? Because you guys are getting great at this. And that's what I want you to be able to do is to be able to, for me to pop open a chart and for you to take a look at it and say, okay, I see the potential bottoming pattern because the TD9 count hasn't confirmed just yet. We need uh, two more bar. Well, we need two more bars. Certainly, it's in bar eight right now. That says you wouldn't get a signal here until 2.30. But where should price bounce to if we get that bottom? Of course, it's the oscillator and change line, but even more so now because that line changed colors about two bars ago. And that gets us up into the $6.05 area. So that's what's going on. We take a look at natural gas. You're going to get different messages for different time frames. But we do have resistance on the monthly. We do uh, the weekly doesn't have a well, I take that back. Uh, well, let's not call anything on the weekly just yet. It does have a shooting star candle from last week. So that certainly is a sell the D point pattern out there. And right now on this week, you've got a shooting star as well. Uh, but the daily is the one that I would hang my hat on at the moment. And that's suggesting lower price. And that was natural gas. We had a request to go take a look at the best. And BEST is the ticker symbol. So let's go change screens here. And we we'll get to the black background charts, and you're going to see that best is moving into two levels of resistance, right? I put this chart up. You can take a look at it, and you can then tell me exactly where price is going to or where is it going to find resistance. And really, that's what this show is all about, is really being able to teach you about these tools, these patterns, so that you, too, can go ahead. And all I'm doing is narrating. I'm just narrating what the charts are communicating to you and I. And that's beautiful because then we get consistent or try to get consistent. So 194 to 197, Dan, is where your resistance level is. That's the top of the daily and the weekly profile. Now, above that, we would expect price to make its way to 250. 250 is the center of its bullish structured monthly profile. And that would be the natural counter trend resistance move, $2.50. Now let's pull over best on our other time frame charts and see what other signals we might have out here for Dan. We begin by taking a look at the daily time frame chart. As we populate this, we're going to see what? We don't see any kind of a topping. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like it really completed the A to B equals CD because the A point is down here. The B point is right there. But let's just simply move this. Sorry about that. Let's try to move this bar over. I take it back. Okay, so it did complete an A to B equals CD pattern out there. So you got the sell the D point. Uh, that confirmed with this little bear, uh, bear sash candle, bear separation candle, the whole nine yards. And But what did price do? What did price do? Didn't give me any, any feel that price would stop right there. Maybe that was a retracement level. But what we just simply need to know right now, Dan, is that price... We had a valid top. Price is above a green oscillator and change line. That says if price can close above 194, that should continue to move higher. Move higher to where? Well, let's go take a look at the weekly time frame chart. I really think we gave you the move higher, and it was on the monthly chart out there. On a weekly time frame chart, you're going to be in bar number seven of a TD9 count. That says that we may not see a top. If we do, if this pattern completes out here for another um, two to three weeks out here, that's certainly enough time for price on a weekly basis to make it to its resistance level. So we talked about the top of the profile. What's above that? The breakdown level. And this had a nervous breakdown at $2.73. So that would become the next target to the upside. On a monthly basis, on a monthly basis, what do we have out here? A TD9 count. So you got a TD9 count. And that says, Dan, 221, 250 is uh, up next for ticker symbol BEST. You got to love that. Now, just quickly take a look at short term time frame. I don't have anything out here other than price getting back to prior highs. Not that that's not nothing. That is something out here, but no other signals that I can provide to you. So you've got that resistance. You've got the resistance levels. Uh, price being above the oscillator and change line, it should be able to make that move. Uh, no other quote. I do have a question. This one coming in from Marie. Marie writes it, and she says, please review NUE. You got it. Let's get these uh, fired up on our white charts. Let's get these fired up on the black background charts. And what we're going to take a look at is the question is, please review it. I own it from 77. You trade at 94. That's good. And wonder if I should add about here. So Marie Price has pulled back today to a brand new profile. That can be a buy point. That buy point was at 94.88. You're trading at 95.83. Price last week, this week, the week before has found resistance at the bottom of its profile. That's at 94.50. So you do have uh, some signals that say, okay, we've got support holding. So the question becomes, can we find some type of a bottom out here? for Marie. Let's go take a look at the daily time frame. As price is moving lower, what is it doing out here? 
just pulling back to a breakout level. So here's what we're going to do, Marie. And this is why the power of the oscillator and change line. All rallies have uh, found resistance at that oscillator and change line. So since you already own it at 77, I'm going to suggest that you wait for this to prove itself to you. And that would be a close above that oscillator and change line. Really like two closes, but anything above 99.21. I know you're saying, wait a minute, Steve, you're telling me to pay $4.15 more or so. Yeah, because I don't really have, I don't have a, con a confirmed bottom out here. We do have price pulling back to its breakout level of 92.04, so we know there's a couple areas of support that so far have held. That's the daily chart. Let's go see what the weekly chart communicates to us. Nothing more right now than price is pulling back to that breakout level. Let's look at a short-term time frame chart. Do we have any kind of bottoms that have had some follow-through and taken out resistance? We don't. That's the 30-minute chart that we're looking at. Real quickly, how about the 65-minute chart? Any patterns, any bottoms? Nada. Zip. So, yeah, Marie, what you're going to do is you're going to hold off right now. Uh, and you're going to wait uh, to uh, see what this uh, does. Does it hold support 94.88? If not, it could be 92.04. But you want price above that oscillator unchanged. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. You got the Dow trading down 135 points. The S&P is off 12, and the NASDAQ 100 is up 7. Russell is back 22. So let's go ahead and uh, end the day where we began it. 
And that was taking a look at the short-term equity future contracts out here. So we saw the NQ. Our, really f- our focus was on the NQ because that was providing us with the most important information, which was price was pulling back, testing that uh, oscillator and change line, which had just changed colors. As we said, if you test and reject that green line, that's a bullish signal, and price should make its way up to the 14,674 to 14,688 level. Well, that's, in fact, what it has done. But what we can also see is price is struggling to take out that resistance level. That then is a, you know, the candle's not going to close for another four and a half minutes out here. But boy, that tells you just how important 14,688.25 is. If price closes above that, that suggests a further rally. Inside the ES Mini, the level to be watching to suggest a further rally or where you would want to sell the ES Mini is its TD9 breakdown level. That's at the 43.38 level. In the case of the Dow, it's got a ways to go before it gets to its breakdown level. But price is above the top of its daily profile. It closed above it at 130. This bar looks like it'll close above it as well. And that suggests that the Dow wants to make its move to 34,242. And the Russell 2000, it's dealing with resistance right now, right at the 2202 level. If price can close above that. It doesn't have to close above it right now. It can do it during the next half hour. So these are the levels just simply that you're watching. If price can do that, it can make its way back to the 2226 area out there. So that's what we've got. Uh, I don't see anything else uh, to really focus on and pay attention to other than just to restate we're in the favorable seasonal cycle. You've got a Gartley buy pattern in the ES Mini, a Gartley buy pattern in the Dow, a Gartley buy pattern in the Russell 2000. Everybody's just hanging out, waiting for the NASDAQ 100 or the NQ to generate that same kind of symbol signal out there. And then maybe that's what leads to the rally into the end of the year. But Stevie says maybe, because there's always a possibility that maybe not. Hey, folks, thanks so much for joining me here today. Two more great hours up next. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. Take care.